I'm going to set out over the next couple weeks and try to make my Tesla coil way more powerful. So what I'm looking at here, this is a video of a guy who took a ZVS driver and turned it into his driver for his Tesla coil. And you can see right now at about 62 to 65 volts, he's getting a pretty good breakout. This right here shows the actual distance he's getting out of his tube and how much light he's getting out of it. Right now I can get 35 out of my current Tesla coil, 35 inches. He's getting close to 4 feet. And this is uh, probably 5 feet right there. So this is what I want to get out of it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the circuit. This right here is the ZVS driver that they used in the video. About, what, $33, $34, pretty cheap. And these are the uh, two capacitors that I bought to go along with it, the exact ones they used in the video. So this is the modification that they did. Basically, they just pulled out all of the original capacitors. Then they went ahead and put capacitors in there for a Tesla coil. So they just connected it to the tall post that you see there. In the back, it looks like it's connected to the heat sink, but it's not. It's just uh, a wire connection, one to the next. Nothing special there. So this is the only modification that they made to this. So I followed exactly what they said, and I made the same modifications. However, I didn't have as much luck as they did. Let's get into the testing. All right, we're going to give this a shot here. What we have going on, I'll show you real quick. We have a ZVS. We modified it, basically. I tore out those. And I put in that capacitor right there. Just over the top. Just between the two, you can see it there. You can also see it there, it's connected. And then the white wire goes to the bottom of my Tesla coil. And the black wire goes just on a certain point on the primary. And then I put a spike at the top for breakout. Over here we have a capacitor. That's what we're running there. Let's go back and we'll take a look at this capacitor right here. Okay, we have a full bit bridge rectifier right here, and we have our variac. So, we'll move these capacitors out of our way. We're just going to set this over here on the tripod. We're going to give it a shot, guys. First, we're just going to check and see if we're anywhere near resonance when I turn on the variac. And then we'll check that with a little light. We're at 30 volts. And right now we do have light up, so probably shouldn't go over the top like that. We do have a circuit that's working. We're up right now at 40. Probably in the wrong residence right there. And I'm starting to fire right now. Basically just some uh, tubing on there. It doesn't like that. Alright, well first test. Do we have some lighting? Yeah, we do. Is it in residence? No. So let's go to the second one. Test number two. And we just moved it up a little bit. Let's see if that helped. We get our light out. Go up to about 30. We have light up. Right now close to 40 and it looks worse. 
that's starting to look better. We are now at 42. Moved it up, we're at 46. And we're still smoking on that wire. Well, it's going to have to last. Alright, we're going to change this down one on the next one. And we're going to see if it works even better. Alright, we're in test three. We are now only on the second coil right here. Where it's connected. We are at 40. Okay, and we got a lot more smoke. I'm gonna have to take care of that before I go probably go any further. Oh, how fun it is! Okay, here we go. Test number three. I basically changed my number one coil here. I got it closer, and I changed the wire. So. Hopefully now it won't start on fire and take up all the heat. And maybe we can get something going here. Alright, we'll give it a try. Well, that's not going to work either. What's going on is this piece right here. It clips on. It's just getting red hot. And it's taking up all the heat and all the energy from it. So, we may have to put in a second, uh, second capacitor here. Alright, test four. Simply just put two of them in there this time. We'll see if we can't get that switching speed up a little bit. I'm just getting way too much heat, not enough uh, fast switching. So we'll see. Here we are, we're at 40. Now 55 and we're dead in the water again. Oh, okay. Well, I need to get a much bigger wire, apparently. This is not working this way. Alright, here we go with test number four. See if it gets any better. It's better there. Not smoking now. I don't know if that's fixed for good or just a little bit. I think I need to uh, stop and look at it. And I don't think I have my resonance point correct in getting this uh, to hit it the right uh, frequency matchup. So. Alright, we're going to have to do some other testing. Okay, I'm going to take one last look at this and I think it's time to buy some equipment to help me out with this. Alright, let's see exactly how far we get uh, with what we have. Fifty-five there. Basically, it's kind of. Let's not lie about it. Right now, I'm doing a very horrible job at this. Things are on fire. That's normal for me. But uh, 
Not exactly right. I think it's not hitting the resonance point, and that's basically it. And I can't do that without the proper tooling, so I think that's where I'm at. If anybody's done one of these and you know exactly how it works, please let me know what I'm doing wrong here. I had the ground connected to the ground wire right there. It's connected into the wall. So that's pretty much where I'm going to leave it for right now. I wish it was better. I, I was looking for something with about four feet out of it. And it's probably due to my uh, not knowing a lot about Tesla coils that's causing the problem. Solid state, not a problem. Resonating coils, a little bit more of a problem. So, anyway, let me know. Thanks, guys. In looking back on the footage, I couldn't really see the light a lot. So I wanted to do it at night just so you can get a good idea of where I'm at. So I can get the proper help. Anyway, let's go ahead and turn it on and get this going. Okay, we'll let that charge for a few minutes. We'll come over here. Turn it on. You see the green light comes on. Use one of the bigger bulbs here. Um, that's not. I mean, it's working, but it's not working, working. It's not where I need it to be. I'm at like a third of the power, maybe a quarter of the power, maybe less. This thing should be arcing up like crazy and do other things, but it's doing nothing. Just so you guys know, I went ahead and ordered a signal generator, and I do own an oscilloscope. So I'll be able to find a resonance point. Maybe that's all it's holding me back at this point. But it's still getting way too hot and I don't understand why maybe I'm just not using the right wire size I'm gonna go ahead and buy the bigger wire and see if that does it but the wire they use in the video is relatively small so I'm just there's something wrong here and I don't know what it is yet and I'll go ahead and make a holder for the fan and everything else and get this into one type package hopefully uh, I'll get on the CAD program and work it out and print it out and then hopefully uh, It'll look a lot better next time, but hopefully I can get the correct advice so we can get this thing up and working so I can add it to my Gravity Flyer project. This right here is the website that I actually found this project on. I'll try to link it in the description, but in case YouTube doesn't allow me to, I'm just going to show it to you. Also, I'll leave links in the descriptions for three videos that I found on this subject so that you guys can look at them as well and see what you think. They all did good on theirs. I'm just not there yet. I will also leave in the description the link to the products for the Amazon. If you like what you saw here today, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. And have yourself a great day. Thank you.